huge. You've become the second youngest player after Michael Owen to score at a World Cup. Please just put that into words for us. Second, uh, I don't really like coming second, but I think to someone um, as great as Michael Owen, I'll take it. You know, um, it was not really about the records or even me scoring. In all honesty, it's about us winning games and having a good start, a convincing start that we can take into the next two group games. We know what a brilliant set of players you are. We know what Gareth Southgate has done time and time at major tournaments. But there were questions after the Nations League. How much did you want to prove that he was the right man for this job with that performance? Yeah, definitely. You know, the gaffer's been unbelievable since he's taken over we're all playing as hard as we can for him because of you know how he's transformed the team and um, there was no real talk of uh, kind of negativity in our camp we was always just trying to focus on the next game and proving people wrong um, and showing the real England uh, and how we play. Your World Cup debut I mean, let that sink in and it's the highest ever scoreline England have ever recorded at a World Cup on an opening match. Yeah, it's impressive. It's a, it's a good night for all of us. I think me personally as well. You know, um, I think three years ago I was at Birmingham. So um, I thank them for everything, Dortmund for everything. And when I take the time to look back, I realise how quick it's all happened. And yeah, I just want to thank everyone who's been there for me on, on the way. And hopefully I can repay them by continuing to play well for the rest of the tournament. And the world of football apologises to Birmingham City for retiring your shirt. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. I still take banter for that now, but it's fine. We'll see. We've got to talk about Bukayo Saka as the youngest player to score two goals yeah. in, in a World Cup. We know what a talent he is, but what's he like to play up? Because the link up play in the midfield was just something very special. Yeah, I love Bukayo, man. As a person, as a player, he's, just, he's class. I, I love being around him. I love playing with him on that right-hand side. You know, a lot of the times I just want to turn, give him the ball and leave him alone so he can go and do his thing. And, you know, I'm always there to support him like you saw, but, you know, when someone's got the kind of 1v1 quality that he's got, it's important that you give it him in, in positions where we can express that. And uh, I'd like to think I've done that tonight. And it's been just with the rotation and the players coming on, Rashford, Grealish, so many players, and uh, really lighting this tournament alight. What do you believe you can do with this group of players? Yeah, you know, I think we have a really strong squad on paper, but I think on the pitch is where it's most important. And we showed tonight that with all the names and with all the different clubs, we can come together and put in strong performances and work well as a team. And, and you got the goal, but my goodness, Harry Maguire was determined. He so nearly yeah. got one before you. He, he has been under so much pressure again under Southgate. He's thriving, an outstanding performance. What did you make of that? I really admire Harry Maguire, to be honest. I think the way he's dealt with some of the stupidness I've seen over the last um, couple of years after what he's done in an England shirt and for United, to be honest, it's, um, it's disgraceful, really. But the way he's bounced back with that first performance, I know he took a bit of a knock, but um, yeah, the way he bounced back, I'm really happy for him. And um, it's, it's a joy to play with him also.